So, as I just mentioned, as I just mentioned, impulse is defined as force in a given amount of time. And we're going to derive the actual formula for impulse here, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to find what the impulse is. What we're going to do here is we're going to remember Newton's second law of motion, force equals mass times acceleration. And then we're going to remember our first UELM, that acceleration is the change in velocity divided by the change in time. And even though this is not on the slide, what's the formula for momentum? P equals n times v. So we're going to use those three equations in order to come up with our impulse momentum here. Same The momentum, P equals m times v. You ready for me to flip the slide? Yeah. Uh, it's going to be on recording right now. So if you don't want your voice on the recording for everybody here, you wouldn't want to talk right now. F equals MA. And then I'm going to substitute in the fact that A equals delta V over delta T. And I'm going to shove that right in for A. <coughs> so this turns into mass times the change in velocity over time. Well, check this out. What's in the numerator now? Momentum. So here's momentum. And if I go ahead and multiply both sides by T, I'm going to have here that momentum is equal to force times a period of time. And we call this side of the equation the momentum side. And we call this side of the equation the impulse side. So force is or impulse is defined as a force over a given amount of time or in a given amount of time. And that's going to be equal to the change in momentum of that object. Any questions how this was derived? Don't panic if you didn't get this written down because I spelled it out for you on this next slide. So again, this is your impulse side. And again, this is your momentum side. But this is filled out a little bit clearer because you've got the final momentum minus the initial momentum. So as you're finishing this up, uh, think about if you want to be my next volunteer. Actually, I would need Seth for this one because he's going to really like the baseball. I know there's other baseball players, but... Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Either take a picture or write down this one problem I would like you to do for homework or before you leave. We're going to use the impulse momentum theorem here to actually find the velocity at which a ball gets a bat, leaves a bat, and then how long the ball is in contact with the bat. I already told you what the answer should be to this. What I'd like you to do now is I would like you to mathematically prove that the ball will be in contact with the bat 0.003 milliseconds. Use your impulse momentum theorem in order to solve this problem. 